Hey guys, Jessica here with Home Sweet Farmhouse and in this video I am in a bare room. Like literally nothing is even on the walls. Everything is taken out of the room because I am currently working on an office makeover video. But because we had such a time getting the wallpaper off these walls, I wanted to bring you a wallpaper, wallpaper remover <laughs> tutorial video because we definitely went through it all and I wanted to provide you with what works the best. That way you can use my mistakes and not have to make them yourself and just start out with what works and run with it if you have to take down wallpaper, which by the way, um, I think I made a comment while we were taking down the wallpaper that I would just rather burn the house down than take wallpaper down again. So <laughs> let me tell you, if you are frustrated, I completely understand I'm right there with you. Um, so real quick before we get into everything I did wrong and then what I did right, uh, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. If you look right down there and that subscribe button is red, make sure you click the subscribe button. It will turn gray. When it does, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way you never miss another video. Again, thank you so much for being here with me. And let's get right into how to take down wallpaper. Okay, so this is my office wall and it's really a bedroom in the house, but I've to have just turned it into my office and we have beautiful this act this room actually has the best lighting in the whole house which is really nice for filming um so i don't have to use as much artificial light but i wanted to make over the walls because as you will see here they had a very very dull and ugly wallpaper on walls so when i decided to do this i knew it was going to be a task like I have taken wallpaper down before and I will tell you only once though um, I will tell you it was much harder so the wallpaper has been on these walls for almost 30 years so it was actually original to the house and uh, we we knew that once we we figured that but then we knew that once we took it off so what you're supposed to do after you put your sheetrock up is to paint the walls and then put your wallpaper on top of them and they they kind of did that uh, there was a very, very, very thin coat of cheap white paint on top of the um, sheetrock. However, the wallpaper was insanely thick um, and it also was very, very old. The glue had been on these walls for almost 30 years, so it was very difficult. So let me tell you what we did wrong so that you don't have to do this. <laughs> um, the first thing we did was I watched some videos on YouTube and what I what I saw on YouTube was like, oh man, this is gonna be super easy. So when you put up wallpaper, it's actually sh two sheets of paper. You've got the top sheet of paper that is uh, ornamental, that's the design that you have chosen for your walls. And the second um, back sheet of paper is where the glue is, adheres to the wall. So you actually wind up with two two separate pieces of paper on the wall, even though they only go up as one. So what you do is you take down the, you pull down the first top coat of the, the ornamental paper, which for us actually came off fairly easily. And I think in most cases it does come off fairly easily. Um, it was really thick. So I did that with one section and then I went back behind it with a bottle of hot water and I sprayed it and I really saturated it good. And what was supposed to happen is you take a putty knife and kind of get it started to pull it off the wall and it's supposed to just pull like almost seamlessly off the wall. Well, that did not happen. That did not work for me. So, um, it, I shouldn't say it didn't work. It kind of worked. It was like still coming off in tiny little pieces and tiny little sections. So what we decided to do, my husband had taken off wallpaper before and he said we need to go get these um, scouring things where you uh, are, are scoring uh, things. So Okay, so I went to Home Depot and I picked up all of the supplies we needed and uh, my husband and I have just used these tools. They are uh, scoring tools and have gone completely around the whole room, everywhere we could reach at least. Um, some of the window sills we weren't able to use it on. So now I'm going to, very unfortunately, use wallpaper remover and um, follow the directions and start getting this wallpaper down. So what you're supposed to be able to do is actually score 
through both the top and the back piece of paper, so both of the pieces of paper on the wall so you don't have to go down and pull the first piece of paper off of the wall. So you score everything and then you go back over it with a uh, chemical wallpaper remover, which I was I really did not want to use, but I didn't know what else to do at this point, so we uh, tried it. We tried the chemical wallpaper remover and it was not working at all. So what we realized is we still needed to take down that first top coat of paper, which we did, and then we went and scored the walls all over again. And then we started with the wallpaper remover, the chemical wallpaper remover again, and it still was not working at all. So it is a complete waste to buy that wallpaper remover that you find at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you shop. Complete waste. Don't do it. And so then what I did was I was like, you know what? Let me go back to the original video where he said the hot water worked, right? Why does the hot water work? Because the heat activates the glue. So you need to get the paper wet and you need to reactivate the glue so that it peels off. So what I did was I got just our handheld um, clothing steamer and I went with the steamer over the walls and I actually, I first I sprayed everything with water and then I went over it with the steamer and I used my putty knife and it actually came off fairly easily, but my, my steamer was really small. So I was still, it was still taking me a long time to do it. So my husband went and bought the professional wallpaper steamer. So it's much bigger. So we both tackled, <laughs> um, we both tackled it and it still took us a whole day to get this one like 10 by 10 size room done and all the wallpapers off the wall. But that's what, that is what works. This is what you need to do. You need to use, you need to take the top, uh, the first layer of paper off of the walls. Then you need to, you don't even have to score it. You just need to get it wet. So use a spray bottle with water, get it wet, and then use a steamer. Whether you're using a steamer that you have already at home or you go and rent the steamer from like Lowe's or Home Depot, which I actually recommend you do because you're, if you are gonna buy that chemical wallpaper remover to begin with, you're gonna spend just as much, if not more, than it costs to rent the steamer for the day. So go ahead and it is a wise investment if you are taking down wallpaper to just go ahead and rent the professional wallpaper steamer. I will say watch videos on YouTube on how to use it and make sure you don't burn yourself with it because the water is literally boiling so be very careful with it but um, definitely that's, that's the best way to get down wallpaper. So all you need to get down wallpaper is a spray bottle of water, a steamer, and a putty knife. So there you have it. Go ahead and get to it. I know that <laughs> taking wallpaper down is not fun at all believe me I know I just did it but if you have to do it and you're not willing to burn your house down instead <laughs> then this is what you need spray bottle of water a steamer and a putty knife that's it don't you don't have to use those harsh chemicals I didn't want to believe me and I still tried it and they don't work so that's all you need water a steamer and a putty knife and it will just take time and get the wallpaper off so uh, if you're not hiring somebody to do it, that's what you got to do. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Or even if you just are fed up with trying to get the wallpaper off your wall and you don't know what else to do and you found this video and you try it out and you're like, oh my gosh, Jessica, thank you for saving my life, go ahead and post in the comments below. I would love to hear that from you as well. Uh, again, if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. And if that subscribe button is red, go ahead and click it. Turn it gray. When it does, the bell up here. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for joining me, Jessica, on Home Sweet Farmhouse, and I will see you in our next video.